Straw. And I'm here to show you how to draw a new cartoon character. So have you got your pencils ready? And your paper? And your imagination? Now I like to start off everything with a circle. And the circle gives an indication where the different parts of the body are going to go. So are you ready? Okay, here we go. We're going to draw this cartoon character with a circle. And a circle is for the head. Now remember too, I'm using a dark pencil so that you're able to see it, but you keep your pencils nice and light. Just below here, I'm going to put in just a little larger circle for the tummy. See that? Moving down, I have a squash circle here and another one on that side. Okay, now here we go for the hand. Remember I was saying about the circle, there it is on the tummy and one down beside the tummy. Okay, let me show you where we're going. We have a curved line here to join those two up. Okay, and then we're going to join the legs up here. See that? And there we have it. All right, now, here we go. Starting up the top, we have N for north. Down the bottom, we have the slippery slide. We have the south pole. Over here, we have the windy west. And here, we have the east side. Now, I want to show you this, the, the shoulder down to the elbow, into the wrist, and stop it just there. And this one is coming from the shoulder down, so it's down by the side. And you can see that's bent there at the elbow. See that? Okay, once again, starting at the north, you're going to do a broken line all the way down to the south pole, like so. Off you go. And then we're going to go from the west all the way across to the east side. Where the two lines meet becomes the centre of our character's face, and that's where we find the noses, noses, don't you suppose us? But this cartoon character has a rather large nose on the end of a snout, so we have a curved line, like so. Then we're going to put in a rather large nose, look at that, and stop it just there. I'm going to join that up, bring it down, and there we know that this cartoon character has a snout. Now we're going to put in the eyes, there's the cheek line, there's one eye, and there's the other one. Now we're going to put in the pupils, there's one, and there's the other. Now I like to start up at the top, starting at the north, we're going to bring it, follow the circle all the way down to the west and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Starting at the north, we're going over, I'd put a, three little sprigs of hair there, the north going over to the west or the east side and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped. Now the reason why I stopped it there is to allow us to put in the ears. So here's one. There's one ear, and on this side, there's the other one. Moving down, we're going to finish it off, bring it down to the east, and stop it just there. Now we're going to put in the eyebrows, there's one, and there's the other. Now the eyebrows, like I said before, help us with our facial expressions. Because when we're angry, the eyebrows go in, look at that. When we're thinking, hmm, and when we're happy, the eyebrows go up. So here we go. Moving down, we're going to put in the reflection of the light because although our cartoon character is flat on the page, once you put in the reflection of the light, they appear to be alive like you and I. And there's one. And there's the other. Okay. Moving down for the nostrils, we have there's one. Have you guessed what it is? That's right. It's a pig. And now we're going here for a big smile. Let it come up the other side. And a little curved line there for the cheek line. See that? Now we want to give the full face. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring it out, leave the circle, bring it down, and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Once again on the other side, bring it out, leave the circle a wee bit, bring it around, 
and stop it just there. I do declare and stop it just there. And the reason for that is I'm going to put in this little chinny chin chin. Okay, now we're moving down here to the trunk of the body. Here we go. We're going to follow this arm out and down and stop just there. That's the outside of the right front leg. Now we're going for the, the tummy. We're going to bring it down. Watch this. We're going to follow the tummy around, bring it down and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Bring that down. Join that up. See that? Now, this is what we can see. So we have our little trotter. Bring it out. And there's this little hoof on that side. All right. Now, over here, we're going out for the left arm, left elbow, back around to the left wrist and stop it just there. Once again, we have a little curve line there for the inside of the arm. And here we go for the little trot, uh, the, his hoof on this side. Watch the little armpit there, bring it around, bring it down, and there it is there. For the tummy, we're going to down here, we're going to bring it around, follow the arm down, and there we have there, and the same. There's not very much now in this little character, okay? But what happens is, he's a very cute little character. And it can be you, you know, like, because even when you're drawing farm animals, you know, he's great that way. And of course, his little belly button, okay? And last but not least, this little cartoon carriage has a wiggly tail. Follow it around, let it go in behind there, and there's his little tail. Now we want to put this cartoon character somewhere, so we want to put him on the ground, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to put in the horizon line. There it is in behind, and he's standing in front. Now I want to put him somewhere, so I'm going to put in a big number one. Look at that. There's a big number one. Okay. And on this we're going to put in a la lazy number one. There's the other one. And we're going to bring it across this way. Have you guessed what it is? That's right. It's a gate in behind him there. Now we want to show that the gate, bring it across here, wibbly wobbly. I'm going to put in um, um, walls, you know, like over here where we are in Connemara, they have these, these walls and um, they don't have trees that divide it up. They just have, uh, the farmer had to pick up the rocks and put them all together. So this is what we're doing on this side, bring it across here, okay. Once again, you don't have to be too fussy, put them in, because they're all different size rocks. And the mastery of it, you know, like putting them all together. Now we came to this wall here, and in front of this wall, there's a big tree. Up, down, up, down, all around. Up, down, up, down, grass to be found. Leave the pathway. Up, down, up, down, all around. Up, down, up, down, grass to be found. I'm going to change my black felt pen. It doesn't look too healthy. Now, going to finish off our tree here. There we have a V. Oh, that's better. I'm going to put in our canopy of the tree. There we go. Bring it across and up. And that'll tell you it's summertime because we can see the canopy. And there's the bark of the tree. I wonder who lives up there now. Huh? In that little house, I wonder, I wonder. Mr. Squirrel, I'd say. In the background here, I'm going to put in rolling hills, look. Still filling out what's going on in the background. All right. And the pathway here, we're going to bring it out, look. Wiggly wobbly. there we go. I'm going to put pebbles on the ground. pathway and there we have little flowers one two going up the top here we're going to put the sun is out nice and small there in the background maybe a cloud or two there's one two little birds okay and in the background there you can see on the gate 
just in between there. Now, a few bushes in the distance. And as you can see, we're just building up this little cartoon carriage and we're putting them out there in the pasture. All right. Now, we get ready with our colours. First of all, we have the sky. Starting at the top, we're going to colour in our sky. Now, I love crayons, as you can see. All the way across. And it appears that the sky meets the ground, doesn't it? See the way it goes in behind the mountains there? See that? Same on this side. There we go, over that side, Tina. And not forgetting in behind there. Now, if there's something else that you would like to put in, put it in. And we said that the sun is out. And once the sun is out, it, it touches everything, reflects on everything. On top of the, on the top of the gate, top of the wall, inside of the fence there, not very tall. There we have it on the other side. And on the mountain on that side, a little bit on the ground, look at that. Oh, that's the wall as well on that side. Okay, now, um, we're going to fill in, we're going to put in the colour now for our gate. Because it's only when you start adding in the colour and the posts of the gate. See that, the way it goes down. And the fact that it's away from the sun, it's going to be a little bit darker. We put in some shading. See that? Same on that side. And all the time what we're doing is we're building up our little cartoon carriage. Now his elbow. I say a little bit of sunshine there and on his cheek. Maybe on his snout. Tips of his ears. Okay, and on the little bit on the ground there. Now, and we're going to put in our mountains there. I'm going to put in a nice light colour green, look at that. Remember there's different shades of green. And I'm using a light colour because it's in the distance there. The same on the other side. There we go. Get a bit darker on that one up there. And the same look. Now I want them to stand out a little bit more. Add in the darker green. See that gives you a different tone. That's the beauty of cranes, you can put one over the other. Now we're going down here, we're going to fill in the trunk of our tree. I'm using the side of the crayon because I'm using a, a, a rather large art pad with me now today on my easel. It's darker up the top there, shading away from the look underneath there. And now we put in a little bit of the sun reflecting on the the trunk of the tree there, look at that. Shady, it actually it looks really well. What else do I need? Other oh, grass. Put that into a different colour, look. And the same, because you can see through the gate. Because it's a wooden, a wooden gate. Can't see through the wall, all right? Do up, down, up, down, all around. Up, down, up, down, grass to be found. Now, like I'm using these colours, you might, everyone has their favourite colours to use or the way we all see things differently and different shades. And that's perfectly OK, because if we were all looking at the same thing and drew the same thing, it is, you know, it's, yeah, my goodness, you know, nice to have variety. Now our little wall, a uh, little bit of brown here. No, it's grey, Tina. Grey. I'm going light colour grey, okay? And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Still haven't done my little piggy yet, but we'll get there. Nice little piggy. Yeah. Little bit of shading under the piggy. Side of the crayon. He's casting a shadow, see that? The flowers and the tree. 
and across this way as well. All right. Fill in our little pathway. And now we're onto our little piggy. Okay. And I'm going to colour in my little piggy. Pink. There we go. Nice and light. See that? Using the side. Nice and soft touch of the crayon. Alright. Same on the trunk of his body. Around his little tummy. His little arm there. The we'll colour in the trotter is different, his hooves a different colour. And all the time we're building up our little character. Now, if you'd like your little character to have jeans, give him jeans. You can put jeans on him. His little hooves there. All the way across. And there's the other one. Oh, the little tail, Tina. Watch this. There's the little tail. Once it's away from the light. Now we're going back now to the um, the grey. I want to put in a little bit of shading there, look at that, on the different rocks. And of course when it's done with rocks, what happens is um, you might get a little bit of green in there, like a little bit of moss. And do you ever notice that sometimes um, there's plants, the seeds just get caught in the wall and they grow out and absolutely adds to it beautifully. And there we have our little piggy. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had bread and jam. And this little piggy had none. Do you remember the rhyme? Yeah. Is it ears? Oh, the tree, Tina. Oh my gosh, look at this. The tree on the top. I'm going with the lighter green for the canopy. Okay, and then I'm going to go for the darker green because it gives it different tones and it's darker in there because it's away from the sun. And you can give swirls because that gives you the idea of foliage on the trees. Look at that. Bit of moss on the tree. Well, usually that tree, when you find moss on the tree, that means it's north facing, because that's the only place the tree, the moss grows on a, on a surface. Now, this little snout that just sticks out. There you go. And there's our little piggy. Maybe he's on the way to the market, or maybe he's on his way to the fair to buy some jam for all the family there. So, until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.